Hey everyone, how y'all doing? This is Della with DoorDot78 and I want to talk to my Canvas Mavericks. You know what Maverick mean, right? It's an independent-minded painter. You know, someone who's in control of their brush. <laughs> well, it sounds good to me, so just roll with it, okay? All right, so this video is about our 30-minute tutorial. We are dedicating it to our mini canvas <laughs> mavericks. You know the ones that's running in and out of your house right now, probably leaving your front and your back door open, letting flies in, and you're telling them, stay in or stay out. I wonder do people still do that nowadays? I know they did when I was little. Well, that's neither here nor there. Anyway, um, they're giving you all of that unwanted attention. You know, I'm bored. There's nothing I do. It's so hot outside. Okay, well, check this out. Go and grab all of their painting supplies, set them down in front of their device, and they can follow along with this video. And in this video, they're gonna be painting Fuzzy. This is a friendly bee. He's chilling, he's relaxing, his little wings is flapping, and so the kids should have fun painting it. They can stop, they can pause, which means the same thing, well, almost. But that's what I say about stop signs and stop lights. No, um, they can rewind. <laughs> and then, you know, whenever they need to take a break, they can of making Buzzy. So let's get right, to, right into it, okay? So we have our large flat brush. We have our round brush, which is pointy. We have our filbert brush. And we have our detailed brush. Let's get to our colors. We have black, blue, white, yellow, and green. Now don't forget you need a cup of water, you need your palette that you're gonna mix your paint on, and you need a paper towel to dry your brushes on, okay? Make sure you have a canvas. This one is 11 by 14. We're going to start off with some blue, a small amount of blue paint. You don't need a lot, just a little. Then we're going to go into our white, just a little bit of that. And we're going to get some green, even smaller amount. Now, remember, this is your buzzy. You can make whatever color you like. So I'm going with a blue sky. So you see me wetting my brush, not drying it all away, getting a very small amount of blue so it can look almost like watercolors because this acrylic is really, really thick and it can go on heavy. I don't want it heavy. I want it very thin. Then after I get some of my blue, I go into the white. And I'm doing what I'm doing here is I'm doing a blending technique, very lightly touching the canvas. This is a wet brush technique for blending. So I'm just going back and forth, back and forth, going into the different colors. So say if you had purple, you would go back and forth with a little bit of purple and a little bit of white, a little bit of yellow. If you had yellow, a little bit of white. It's totally up to you, whatever color. But my sky is going to be blue. And I have a lot of sky. I want it more sky than ground. So if you see, I'm going to keep on doing my light blending strokes all the way down to almost the bottom of the canvas. See, I'm going blue and white, blue and white, back and forth. Just blending, blending, blending see that and I wanted it more lighter in the middle part towards the bottom and I wanted my sky darker so as you can see it's a mixture I love that when it's different strokes in the sky so I put a little bit more blue and now Going all the way down to the bottom. You see that? 
Take your time and get your sky exactly how you like it. Now it's time for the green. No, I didn't clean off my brush. I went directly into the green. And I wanted it to be a light amount of green so it won't be so, so heavy. So you see that we have a light sky and then we mix in that blue with that green just slightly. And I wanna make sure that the green is all over the bottom of the canvas. So I'm trying to get every corner that I can all the way at the bottom. So you see that? Now here with this green, I'm not doing such light strokes. I'm pressing up against the canvas kind of hard because I want it all in the crevices of the canvas. But you can see, it's very light still. All right, take your time. Go ahead and get those colors on that canvas, blend them real well. Just light strokes up at the top. And I'm pressing pretty good because there's not much paint on my brush here with the green. Because remember, we don't, we're not using a lot of paint. We don't need a lot. So now it's time for me to clean off my large flat brush and put it to the side. I rub it across the towel to dry it off and it's done. Now we need to dry our canvas. And if you notice, I picked my canvas up on both sides and I'm fanning them in the air. I'm fanning them just like I just don't care, trying to get that canvas dry. So also you can use a, um, a blow dryer if you like, but I would use the blow dryer with an adult around just so I can be safe. Make sure you have it on low heat and not high heat, okay? Another way you can dry is by using a personal fan, just like me here. And what I do is I fan it around the whole canvas to make sure it's getting dry. And then when the outsides have gotten dry, just how I like it, I will set the fan down in the middle and let it do its work. So now while we're drying, Make sure that you have both hands because it can get really, really messy and open your hands up while you're holding it or else your fingerprints are gonna be on the front of the canvas. <laughs> and then you might have to rebrush over those. <laughs> so I set my, my um, I'm setting down my fan and how you know if your canvas is dry is if you rub it and nothing comes off of your hand. So if there's no paint on your hand, your canvas is dry. See, I'm checking it, it's dry, it's time to put the fan away. Now we're gonna go into our yellow. Here's where Buzzy is coming in, okay you guys, it's time to paint Buzzy. So we're going with our yellow, we're gonna put down a little bit of white, make sure you have your um, round brush because we're gonna do Buzzy's head first. And his head is what shape? It's a circle, good job. So now you see that I'm coming around and I'm filling Buzzy in, but you know what? I want to change it. You know why? Cause I can, that's what you can do in art. If you don't like something and you think you wanna make it better, you could change it, you can. So that's what I'm doing. I'm adding the white because the yellow was very transparent. Do you know what transparent means? Yep, you are correct. That means see-through. So now that we're done with Buzzy Head, we're gonna start on his body. And I wanna look at his body as like a upside down raindrop. So we have two round sides that are wide. <clears throat> and then you're going to curve it in at the bottom. And as you see, I'm mixing my white with my yellow because I don't want Buzzy's body to be transparent. So make sure you get up under his face. 
and the rest of his body. Now, I'm picking up more white and yellow so I can blend it some more, so I can mix it some more, so I can have enough for Buzzy's body. So now that I got the desired color, I'm mixing and I'm painting Buzzy body and I'm filling his top part in. And you know what? His head needs to be the size of his body. So I'm going to change the shape of his head to make it a little larger. Now, if you want a smaller head and a larger body, that's fine. And if you want a larger head and a smaller body, that's up to you. It's your buzzy. Nobody's going to say anything about your buzzy because you're going to have a masterpiece. So now I'm filling it in and I'm doing a little swerve on the tail. So you see how buzzy tail is? It's you come in with a curve. And then you're going to make sure all of the color of Buzzy's body is all in. You don't want to see any of the background. Now I'm taking my large flat brush to smooth it out. I want that paint to smooth out and not bumpy. So if you see, I did the head to smooth the paint out. And I did the body. So now I'm cleaning that large flat brush off. And I'm cleaning that um, round brush off. Now it's time to get the black. And then we're going to mix the blue and white. So you're getting all your colors in because that way you can just start painting. And you won't have to be interrupted. So we're going to put a little more white down. I wanted to keep that separate from the yellow and white because I might go back in it. Oh, I might not. It's my choice. You know, it's your choice up in art. So I didn't like that color blue. I wanted to go just a tad bit lighter. So that's what I did. I added the blue and the white together. And guess what? This color is for Buzzy's wings. So we're going to make like an arch or an M. It's totally up to you how you want to view it. But we're doing a top and a bottom on one side, and then we're going to the other side. Now remember, if it's going too fast, you can pause and you can go ahead and start working on your wings. And remember, tell your parents to like, subscribe, and share our videos, okay? So here, we are going to stop the wing where Buzzy body starts, okay? So we don't want to go inside the front of his body. We want his wings to stay behind him. So we're going to fill those in with that detail brush and that blue color or whatever color you decided to choose, okay? So that top part, we want to fill it all the way in. We do not want to see any background. So you see how solid that color is? That's how solid we would like our wings to be. So I'm just drawing some white lines to see which is the veins of the wings. I'm just trying to gauge and see how many lines I want to add in there. I did that now, but we're also going to do it later. So then I decided to say, you know what? I know exactly what I want to do by drawing those white lines in there. So now let's do the bottom of Buzzy wings, of his right wing. Remember, stay inside the lines. Stay inside of the wing. And we want to stay behind Buzzy. And remember... You can change your mind at any given time. 
if you want Buzzy to have more wings, he can. If you want him to have different color wings, he can. It is okay to change your mind. This is your art, your creation. Just run with it. Paint with your heart, okay? So we fill in that left wing in. Getting buzzy all together now. Make sure you stay inside the wing and stay behind Buzzy. Now we're doing the bottom wing on the left side. See how simple it is? Buzzy is very easy. He's easy going. He said, hey, it's not hard painting me. It's not hard at all. And I would like to be whatever color you want me to be. Look at there. We have the background. We have Buzzy and we have Buzzy's wings. Now I'm taking my that same brush, that same detail brush, and I am lightly painting in his veins. You don't have to be really heavy. It's almost like you want the white to be a little invisible. Just a little invisible. I'm cleaning up that detail brush. Then I'm going into the black. And I'm doing Buzzy Tail. His stinger. Now. I have a confession, you guys. I am afraid of bees. So I try to make Buzzy look as friendly as possible. So nobody has to be afraid of him. I wanted him to look like, hey, I won't sting you. I want to be your friend. So let's make Buzzy look friendly, okay? Now it's time to dry him. So we doing the wave again. So we waving him in the air. Now, it's probably going to take a little time for your Buzzy to dry. That's okay. Pause the video if you need to. And once your Buzzy is dry, you come back, okay? So my Buzzy is ready. He's dry. Now I'm going in and I'm making him stripes. So this one will be right above his stinger. And all I'm doing is making a line across the bottom. I'm not going straight across, but I'm going the roundness of his body. You see that? So it's not just directly across. It's going the roundness of his body. So what I did was I took that detail brush. I washed it. I dried it. And now I went into the white to make buzzy eyes. And to start off, I'm starting off with two circles. They're going to be two circles of white. And what you're going to do after you make your circles, you fill them in. Now, you can make buzzy eyes as large as you want or as small as you want. It's totally up to you. Remember, we have three colors in his eyes, okay? So there, I made the circles and now they have to dry. So let's go back to the stripes. If you notice, I'm still going around his body, but I'm going downward. So I made two lines and then I color them both in. And I stop at the beginning of Buzzy Body and stop at the end. I don't go beyond his body, stay inside of Buzzy's body. And now the next stripe is going upward across his body. You see that? So we have one going down and we have one going up. Be sure to make sure you color it all the way in. And be sure to give Buzzy a little cool stripe up under his face. You see that? Right up under. You, your stripes can be as thick as you want, as small as you want. 
as thin. I'm sorry, as thin as you want. You can have them going straight across. I just thought it'd be cool to to go a diagonal one up and down. I don't know. I just thought it was nice. <laughs> but see, because that's my butt, my buzzy. <laughs> now it's time for the green in his eyes. So you want to make another circle. But this time, do not make it as large as the white, okay? Make it a little bit smaller than the white. Now, I went with the color green. If you don't want to have green, that's fine. These are the iris of um, Buzzy's eyes. Now, I'm going in with that same detail brush and I'm making the veins inside of Buzzy's wings. And I'm using the filbert brush to just make them um, not so hard. I don't like the white color looking hard. I like it to be looking very soft, very soft. So after I paint it, then I go in with that brush, with the filbert brush, and I just rub, so it just soften it up, so it don't look so rough and hard. You can add as many vein lines that you want to add in his wings. It's totally up to you. There are no rules. So I clean both of those brushes off. And then now I'm outlining Buzzy. You see that? I'm outlining with black with that small detail brush. So I'm going around Buzzy body very carefully with the black. If you don't want to, you don't have to. You can use many different things to outline Buzzy. You can use a pen. If you have a dark pencil, you can use a, a black pencil. I'm going around his wings. It's totally up to you. And I'm giving his eyes time to dry. That's why we go back and forth doing different things. So we don't have to just sit around waiting for it to dry. But if you want to, that's fine. This is your buddy's buzzy. It's totally up to you. You could use a marker if you like to outline them. And if you don't want to outline them, that's fine. So I changed my mind here, which I told you, you guys can change your mind at any given time with what you want to do with Buzzy. Because to if it's to you, it makes it look better, then do it. So that's what I'm doing here. I am going over some areas that I thought that I would like to make look better. So, And the paintings where we call it cleaning up some spaces and cleaning up some things. So if you want to, you can clean up, touch up some areas. Mm. So we're going around, just hitting those areas that, you know, we want to look even, to look good, to look nice. Because even though Buzzy is chilling, he still want to look nice while he's chilling, right? Just like we would want ourselves to look good, Buzzy want to look good. So now I did a little blue with a little white and I mixed it together. And I'm going back in Buzzy Wings again. Yep, you guys, I love Buzzy Wings. <laughs> so I just wanted to go a little bit lighter. And I'm going back in with that filbert brush to make sure I fill it out to make it look a little thicker. Still making it soft. Remember, keep it soft. We don't want any hard colors. We want soft colors.
doing the same thing on the other side. Now, if you don't want to do this, you don't have to. If you like, hey, I like buddy, buzzy wings solid, then that's fine. You don't have to add any. You can keep it the solid color you have. It would be so nice to see how you guys are doing. I know you're doing great. I know you're doing great. Because you can pause, you can rewind, you can take whatever you want to do, take a break or anything. So right now, I take that filbert brush that I had, and I'm going into the black, and I'm making the pupil of the eye now. So you see that? I'm making circles. So you should have three circles, a white circle, a green circle, and a black circle for buddy eyes. I just keep saying buddy. It's buzzy. <laughs> so here, I say, you know what? I want to change this eye color. So remember I started off with green? Well, guess what? I put a little blue with that green, and I liked it. Remember, you can change your mind, whatever you want to do. Buzzy is coming along just nice right about now. And he got some big eyes. He got big eyes like me. <laughs> I have large eyes. So I wanted to make sure I kept with the theme. <laughs> and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into some water and I'm going to smooth the paint out. I don't know if you can see it, but once I go into the water to add just a little bit of water with it, I'm going to smooth it out and you can see that it's not so rough. Make it just a little smoother. See the difference? And that's only around the iris. But now I'm going into my white because I want the white part around his eyes larger. So you see, buzzy eyes are coming along so nice. Now you can do this if you like, but if you are satisfied with his eyes, just just hold tight for the next step. Oh yeah, Buzzy, he's looking real good. So now, just touching up the eyes, touching up his uh, stinger, touching up his body some more. And I'm doing all the touch-ups now, right before the last step. We have only a few more to go. I like my buzzy. I hope you guys like yours. I'm just still touching up. And the way that I touch up, I had enough of that yellow and white paint. So now I'm putting the dots in um, Buzzy Eyes. If you notice, all I did was dot it with the white paint and the small detail brush. Small detail brush. That's just to give the light reflection in his eyes. Now it's time for his antennas. All I did was make a curve to the top of his head from the sky, and I put a little ball on each end. See that? So I made a little circle in the ball, and then I have his little antennas coming down to the top of his head. I am not going through his head, but they're on top of his head. Now let's work on Buzzy's smile. So I'm making a smiley face with some little parentheses on the side or, you 
you know, some little cheeks on the side. And then I'm going to work on just adding a little black up under his smile. Just a very small amount. So it looks like he's smiling with his mouth open. Look at there. That's my buzzy. Now, guess what the last step is, you guys? That's right. Sign your painting. So I'm signing it with my initial. Thank you guys so much for painting with us. I hope you like your buzzy because I like mine. And remember, have fun while you paint.